see that stuffed cat on the mantelpiece? That's Fluffy, our pet cat. We loved him so much, we had him stuffed. Six months later, he died. <laughs> Take no notice of him, Conrad. Berenice gave him a Russ Abbott joke book for Christmas ten years ago, and we've been suffering ever since. I must say, it's nice to see some new faces at the dinner table. Oh, yeah. So, Conrad, what do you do? Sorry, how do you mean? Well, are you doing the same course as Berenice? Do you know what I think would be a very nice idea? Well... Bobby Doe is appearing in Panto at the lowest of Ritchie. So, what say we have a family outing? You know, as it's Christmas. Oh, I I've never been to see a Panto at the lowest of Ritchie. Oh. And if everything goes according to plan, I never will. Well, what do the young'uns think? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, why not? I can think of several reasons. Huh. Brian, what do you think of Bobby Doe? I think he's a fucking tosser. Oh, no, please, really, not at the dinner table. Oh, how shocking. You're such a rebel, Brian. It's so terrifying. I bet Brian doesn't even know who Bobby Doe is, do you, Brian? No, I don't. Do you know what I think? I think the only thing that you're interested in is those nasty magazines. As I keep telling you, Grandma, they weren't mine. I was looking after them for a friend. I always wondered what you did in that garage all day long. I write songs. Yes. But songs about what, though? Hmm? Songs about doom and gloom? What's wrong with that? Because it just adds to the misery in the world. Oh, no, Dad. Your jokes add to the misery Take in the world. the Beatles. The Beatles made music that celebrated life, celebrated love. Music that made people feel happy. What kind of emotions do you want people to feel when they hear your kind of music, hmm? Anger and resentment. Why would anyone want to listen to music that makes them feel angry and resentful? Uh, I don't know, Mother. I mean, you know, why do you behave in a way that makes people feel angry and resentful? I'm just going to go to the... Oh, um, it's upstairs on the left hand side. Seen it all before, darling. The teenage rebel act. He wants to be famous. But you're going to have to do something far more original than that sullen, salty teenager act. <laughs> Just get through. Just get through, OK? Just get through. <laughs> they are fucking mad, though. Uh, I don't see the blue vein Stilton on the cheese board. Probably because it's not there. You didn't get it, did you? Maybe I didn't. But you said you did. What, what, perhaps I picked up a piece of Dolce Lata instead. But I specifically asked for blue vein Stilton. No, what's the difference? It's cheese, it's got blue in it. Have the bloody Dolce Lata. I don't want your bloody Dolce Lata. I want the blue vein Stilton. Please, Mum, don't get yourself so upset. <laughs> it's Alan's favourite cheese. That's, that's why I'm so upset. Well, he's not going to have any now, is he? Badge! <laughs> Please. You see, she doesn't even care. Now, that's what I can't stand about. She's poison. You're a poisonous woman. Oh, really? I haven't even started. Oh, all right. Look. It's all right, um, Gran. <clears throat> well, me, Brian and Conrad, we're going shopping tomorrow. So we'll, we'll pick up your blue vein Stilton for you. Oh, thank you, Berenice. You are a kind girl. Anyway. Alan didn't used to like Blue Vein Stilton that much. He just used to like saying Blue Vein Stilton. What's she talking about? Yeah, he knows. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sorry to disappoint you, dear. Are you sorry to disappoint? Because it's all you've ever done is disappoint. <laughs>